we have a very special guest with us today, Mr. Bernard Tabri, International CEO of Keolis Group. And it is a very joyous moment for us to have him here with us today when we at Hyderabad Metro Rail celebrating fifth year anniversary. Good evening, Mr. Bernard. Good How evening. are you? Good evening. I'm delighted to be back in Hyderabad and what an opportunity. Yes. In fact, uh, we are really very honored that you are here with us in our celebration and uh, anything with HMR cannot be uh, complete without uh, the cooperation which we always get from QMS Group. Thank you once again for being here with us on this occasion. Uh, so we thought since you are here, why not take the opportunity to ask you some questions about how you feel and how Keolis is planning the way forward and everything uh, about Metro Rail and otherwise also as a group. So in 2012, we have signed the agreement with you all and you were there right at that time. Uh, it's 10 years of operations of Keolis and 50 year anniversary of HMR. How exactly are you feeling? How emotional are you feeling? And what would you really think as two to three major achievements in the journey? Well, I was, I'm very moved because 10 years ago, this was our first foray into India. And our luck was to work with uh, LNT uh, because LNT has demonstrated its capability to work with the state in delivering a major project but also with all sorts of uh, contractors and operators as a conductor, conducting a perfect orchestra, playing in tune. Uh, and really for us, uh, our first partner in India being l &D, was a blessing. Uh, the group has brought so much of its history going back to 1938, but also of its uh, capabilities uh, moving forward. Uh, and throughout, we've been you know, lifted upwards by the professionalism and the competency of the people that we were working with. And then of course coming into a beautiful city of Hyderabad in the great state of Telangana, that also is a fantastic experience. And so uh, coming back here to celebrate five years of operations is a delight. Thank you so much and uh, special thanks for those kind words and I'm sure the partnership would go a long way. Uh, so now that you have finished the decade, uh, what are the other major plans uh, for expansion in India? Well, uh, Telangana, with, through Hyderabad Metro Rail and the uh, good work of uh, LNT Metro Rail, which we are a partner of, uh, has demonstrated that uh, public transport makes a city more livable, more attractive, that it's more pleasant for people to live there, to work there, to study there, to visit. And uh, the four and a half or the almost five lakhs a day on the metro show that uh, public transport is essential in a city like this. Um, luckily, many other cities in India see this. Uh, Hyderabad itself, with the announcement of government yesterday of its intention to go ahead with uh, the airport line and down the line probably with the uh, e-bus rapid transit, is showing that uh, their understanding of the strength, if you like, of uh, public transport, um, we are keen to be associated to that evolution and looking forward to it. Oh, that's wonderful. In fact, we are also very happy uh, to hear about the expansion plan of the government. Uh, that's very nice uh, and uh, I'm sure uh, things will be very positive. Uh, now, uh, environment, planet are the most relevant words, I would say, and topics which are being discussed worldwide. So, what are the initiatives in terms of sustainability or environment to save the planet being taken by Curious Group as a whole? Well, the good news is that public transport itself is the best way to be mobile uh, without uh, inflicting any damage to the planet. Uh, and, and their complement to uh, LNT who've already uh, ensure that 15% uh, of the energy for the metro comes from solar energy. And as uh, Keolis, we very much in that uh, momentum are 23,000 buses uh, worldwide. There are already 20% uh, of them fossil free fuels. Uh, we have firm commitments of reducing our CO2 emissions by 2030. Uh, as a group, we mobilized. We were present in uh, COP26 in Glasgow, COP27 in uh, Sharm el Sheikh next year. COP28 in uh, Dubai, uh, really the planet is 
essential to our lives, to our future, to the future generations. Uh, India is moving forward in that direction, so is LNT and Kyolet will be in that momentum. Excellent. I think uh, each and every individual on this planet uh, should have this responsibility and own up this environment uh, initiative and to do whatever best and of course metro rail we save a lot of carbon footprint and definitely it's an eco-friendly travel that we say and uh, thank you so much for being a partner of this. Now uh, coming back to the other aspects now a major transportation network across the world including Keolis subsidiaries have reached the pre-covid ridership levels. So can we say that we are back to normalcy pre-COVID? Uh, even we, I, I think most of the things are get, getting normal for sure. Uh, how do you see Keolis Network doing in terms of revenue now that things are more or less uh, slowly coming to a normalcy and we are limping back, the economy is limping back? And what efforts or new business initiatives you think must be taken for making your business more profitable? Well, the very good news when it comes to COVID is that uh, India has shown leadership in the world in developing vaccines, in handling the situation, and the metro network itself was an essential part in uh, even moving live organs, uh, you know, on the metro on uh, some occasions. Uh, the good news is that the ridership here in Hyderabad is uh, at 120 percent of what it was uh, pre-COVID. Uh, and what, has, what we have learned from COVID is that uh, public transport is an essential service that people need. And, it's, uh, and, and thanks to the circumstances, we've become also more agile in schedules, in deploying trains. In, in, uh, and, and that is something that we need to demonstrate tomorrow because people are not going to work tomorrow in the same way as they did. They're going to work you know, three days a week at the office. They're going to work on other days. They're going to work. They're going to be out in the evening or on weekends. So we need to show that agility uh, in the future. We need to uh, enhance the last mile connectivity so that people really see public transport as a credible alternative to the uh, private car. Uh, and we need to educate uh, people on the uh, positive side of that, uh, uh, you know, carbon footprint that public transport uh, offers. So uh, the solar energy on the metro will certainly grow. Uh, many aspects or many initiatives will uh, come forward. I'm really confident in uh, that spine of the city becoming more and more important as time goes and uh, you know, being a vector of its uh, future success. Oh, that's wonderful. Brilliant insights, of course. As we are uh, talking about sustainability, another uh, very important topic in today's day is going digital revolution. And we cannot, at least COVID has taught us that we cannot really do without it. That's great. So what are the initiatives you all are taking? In here, in, as you know, uh, for our riders, we are doing many uh, mobile ticketing, WhatsApp has started, and it is for digital initiatives we are taking. So from Kira's perspective, what is the digital revolution you want to bring to the Well, bringing a revolution, I don't know, but certainly finding in Hyderabad the culture of digital. This is the city that has cyber about it is, uh, and India is such a huge platform of development, of initiatives, of uh, startups. And digital allows us what? It allows us to consider passengers not so much as uh, anonymous cattle, but as individuals who want to be recognized as individuals, who want to be considered as individuals. So we don't have five lakhs passengers on the on the uh, on the network every day we have five lakhs individuals and they want to be recognized they want to them they want their tastes they want their appetite they want their travel habits but they also want their payment capabilities uh, their recognition to be uh, possible and to be individualized and that's what digital allows on that uh, we find here a field that is extremely uh, open if you like to such innovations already 70 percent of uh, the trips are uh, managed through contactless uh, uh, payment, be it on phones or cards, uh, and that will grow. And tomorrow, fingertips, eye contact uh, will be uh, fuels of, uh, of uh, travel. So I'm confident that in the city of uh, cyber, digital is going to be a growth engine of the uh, network. Oh, that's wonderful. And what I really like from what you said is that 
still you feel that yes that individuals should be respected no, no matter how much digital we go and uh, the most successful leaders are those who are empathetic leaders and human uh, oriented leaders the brilliant leadership uh, kiris has under your wings that's wonderful and uh, you know, one uh, last question nothing to do with business if i ask you three things what do you like best about hyderabad hyderabad has uh, it has this combination of history rich and a bright future uh it is a state that is uh, well telangana today and in this country of peace and freedom has shown that it was able to create a 29th state in uh, in india for a city that is uh, vibrant and attracting uh, investment and and uh, people moving into hyderabad and i we are lucky to have staff here who love hyderabad uh, whether they are from uh, hyderabad or whether they have come to hyderabad but they have that smile that warmth that uh, greeting and that spirit which hopefully is reflected in the network uh, so coming here is a delight having been here for 10 years has been a delight and i look forward to the next 10 years in the same uh, momentum oh cheers to that cheers to that have you tasted hyderabad biryani yes of course and i've been to shopping now <laughs> and i uh, Well, uh, yeah, I can't have enough of that. Then you have really got a slice of my world with you. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Abhi. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your visit. Thank you for being part of our celebration. And uh, I'm sure under your leadership, Kiyonis Group would grow to boundless. And uh, we look forward to many such visits from Mr. Bernard Abhi, International CEO of the uh, Kiyonis Group. and you can see how he's almost have become a part of hyderabad and part of uh, hmr any which ways he is thank you so much have a wonderful stay we look forward to host you again thank, thank you, you very so much. much you're welcome thank you